Hi there again, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here again my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I am going to set up our mother-daughter recollections planner. This is a personal planner, but today I am going to show you how you can have a planner that you can also share with someone, uh, especially if you need to really sync up. Uh, my daughter has her own bujo. I also have my own planner that I it is my go-to planner which is the Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook I think I mentioned that also in my recent uh, upload on my planners my big happy planner is just my planner that I stay that keep at home but this Traveler's Notebook is the one that really goes with me everywhere the big happy planner is more of my memory keeper or slash scrapbook for the, to commemorate all the events that happen in our daily lives. So for this personal planner that I got from Recollections, I am going to be setting this up for the mother-daughter, for my daughter and I, of course, um, for the activities that we share. For example, we run the home-based bakery business, uh, Jessica Cakes Project and uh, it's on its fifth year right now actually going on in our sixth year in january in a few months now anyway oftentimes we have orders that it's easier to really have something that's shared and written we have something electronic on our tab but from time to time it's so it's really much better to see things handwritten and you'll never know when things crash on your system that you want to just keep them written. So anyway, this is the what I like about the Recollections Planner. It is a small planner with a big attitude. <laughs> it has some of these slots here for, um, you know, for anything that you want to insert. There may not be too deep those uh, three slot slits there. Uh, enough for you to just probably put small items, maybe not for cards, but the bigger one is uh, on the bottom where you can put cards or anything really longer. This is about the size is this paper clip. So if you just want to decorate it or embellish, you can do that. I like also that this has a secretary flap or pocket where you can insert any paper. Now this comes with this uh, dividers here. There are three pieces of dividers here that are made of hard plastic and they're in gold foil I like the written words there if you want to see the total because they all on they come in different colors uh the the recollections planner however all the inserts are the same some of you have already seen the recollections planner for for those of you who are not familiar with it it comes with this to do also the graphing paper and also the rule paper I got this calendar as well but if you want to see the basic setup I have a video that I will link down below for you to see how I set up my sister's planner that I got her uh, for her birthday a month ago. So this is a blank calendar that I can use. I'm still debating whether I use this or the one that's dated for 2017 because again a lot of the activities that we're gonna do uh, that we're gonna track down here on this planner are mostly for 2017 especially when it comes to her um, medical school journey so anyway I just want to show you that this one uh, you don't want to attach that in full you have to separate them before you insert them otherwise it may damage or create a gap or gaps on those rings so I'll just fast forward here to show you what I'm doing in order for me to update this planner
think I'm finally done with the initial setup of the, the mother daughter planner, personal planner. Uh, again, this is a recollections planner. It cost me about $9 with 50% uh, off. And I like that it's portable, whether it's my daughter carrying it or I. It can fit any purse. I think even the small um, shoulder bag, it'll fit. Or, you know, it's easy to also handle if you want to carry it with you. So this will help us track our orders on Jessica Cakes project as well as anything that has to do with the projects that we do for our baking business and also it can also track uh, her medical school journey like I said there will be some different sections that I am going to be labeling later as it progresses I will show you but I will show you first the initial setup and here it is so here it is. Let's start off with the side pockets here where I put in some of the Recollections magnetic page markers. Those three pieces there come uh, in a set of $4.99. You can also use coupons. This larger clip here, the pink ombre one at the bottom, came as a set of two for $2.99 minus 50% off. And here are some stickers that I'm using and these two here are from a booklet that came from Walmart it's a set of 18 sheets with 684 stickers on it it's about only two dollars and 46 cents and then this one here uh, the stickers here that you see came from the target dollar spot it's a set of dashboards I've been using them on my other planners and here are the other items that came with it one is this sticky notes here and you can see that it comes also with four small magnetic page markers I'm using two of them my daughter's using one and there's one more left that I can use here and then here are some stickers that I can embellish the pages and let me show you how perfect these stickers are for the calendar again I'm still debating whether I'm going to be using this calendar because I think they're coming up with the 2017 if they haven't already but the these stickers are the perfect size for until weekly and I will still have enough space to write on and they're also the perfect size for the boxes on the monthly calendar view and I like that I can put these stickers in this secretary pouch or pocket here that is very convenient. I have also added this tassel here from Recollections. It's $4.99 but you can also use coupons. So let me show you what I did with the pages. Here came with the set Make Great Things Happen and made of hard plastic. It's really thick and durable. And I made this one, if you notice on my video, uh, I laminated this card from the hot buy that I got from Michaels. And this was like $5 for 60 pieces of cards. And this, I chose this design, the gold foil on white. And I'm using this one as a dashboard for my sticky note. I'll fix that later. I'm going to stick those <laughs> sticky notes a little bit more. Um, a little better I'm gonna be using my adhesives anyway just want to flip through the pages here is I div I separated the to do that's the first section and then this second section is the graphing paper where I used also that gold foil uh, lines and then this uh, third divider here Again, this graphing paper will be good for doodling and the designs of the cakes, but also trying to do some calculations as well. And this one is for the notes. I have some blank notes here that I can use. I love this section here that says believe the very best. I think we'll use that for her medical school journey. Now anyway, these additional notepads here are from list pads that I got either from the Target Dollar Spot. The last one here that says groceries, I got that from the Dollar Tree and this one here with the perforation I got from the Target Dollar Spot. And I just used this single hole puncher to 
put the holes there so that it'll go with the others and yeah I'll I'll use them together with the notepads and and this grid as well as the list because when when we do our orders for Jesse Cakes we kind of put together a project so it's like a packet where there's the notes the contact of the customer and then what they want and when we're meeting with them and then the grid will kind of do some kind of rough draft of uh, the design of the cake or whatever they want us to do like either cookies or cake pops anyway the list for the groceries when we will list down the materials and ingredients needed created this other dashboard from another blank note card for the sticky notes that I got from the target dollar spot and there's additional space here that I haven't used yet this one we, I can insert other items that I need for example stickers and this one I can insert maybe a smaller note or list pad for future use and I'm really liking the way this one turned out so I hope that I'm able to inspire you to also create one for yourself either for you personally uh, for you and your daughter for you and your son or you and your best friend or partner in a business or even you and your husband and it there can be a million other reasons to have a separate planner and I hope I inspired you with that. So again, this is Josie from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here again on my channel. Please click subscribe, like, and comment down below. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.